God is telling you to stop worrying. If you're like most people, you worry about things from time to time. Maybe you worry about your job, your finances, your health, or your relationships. Whatever the case may be, it's important to remember that God is in control of your life. He holds everything in his hands, and he knows what's best for you. So next time you find yourself worrying about something, take a step back and remind yourself that God is in charge. He will take care of you and everything will work out for the best in the end. Trust in him and let go of your worries. You'll be much better off for it. How can we stop worrying? The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. These verses remind us that we need to give our worries and concerns to God. He is the one who holds our life in his hands and he knows what is best for us. So instead of worrying, we need to trust him and have faith that he will take care of us. Here are some other things that can help us to stop worrying. 1. Pray about everything that concerns you. 2. Meditate on God's word and let it fill your mind with peace and hope. 3. Spend time with God, worshiping and thanking Him for His goodness. 4. Reach out to others in love and serve them, knowing that God is using you to bless them. 5. Remember that worry is a form of unbelief and trust God instead. When we focus on God and His goodness, it will help us to stop worrying about the things of this world. If you are struggling with worry, please reach out to us so we can pray for you. What are the benefits of stopping worrying? When we worry, we are usually worried about something that we cannot control. Worrying does not change the outcome of the situation, it only stresses us out and prevents us from enjoying the present moment. If we trust that God is in control, then we can let go of our worries and be blessed with peace of mind. When we stop worrying, we are able to focus on the positive things in our lives and enjoy the moment. Some benefits of stopping worrying are 1. We can enjoy the present moment instead of worrying about the future. 2. We can trust that God is in control and have peace of mind. 3. We can focus on the positive things in our lives. 4. We can reduce our stress levels. 5. We can live with more joy and happiness. If you find yourself worrying often, try to take a step back and remind yourself that worrying does not change the outcome of the situation. Instead, focus on enjoying the present moment and trust that God is in control. God holds your life in His hands. He knows what you need and will provide it. Stop worrying and trust in Him. He will take care of you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We all worry from time to time. It's a natural human emotion. But when we worry too much, it can take over our lives and cause us a lot of stress. If you're struggling with anxiety and worry, know that you're not alone. And more importantly, know that God is with you always. He holds your life in his hands and he knows what's best for you. Prayer is a powerful tool that can help to ease our worries and calm our minds. So if you're feeling anxious or stressed, take a few minutes to pray. Thank God for all the good things in your life and ask him for help with whatever is causing you worry. Then trust that he will take care of you and everything will be okay. If you're feeling anxious or stressed about something in your life, remember that God is in control. He holds your life in his hands and he will take care of you. So don't worry, instead, trust in God and know that he will work everything out for the best. Dear God, thank you for always being with us through the good times and the bad. Thank you for being with us through everything. We know that we can't always control what happens in life, but we trust that you are always in control. Help us to stop worrying and to start trusting you more. We know that you have a plan for our life and we are ready to follow your lead. Help us to stop worrying and to have faith that everything will work out according to your plan. We love you and we pray this in your name. Thank you for your peace that transcends all understanding. In Jesus' name, Amen. God says don't worry, I'm here to help you. In the Bible, God promises many benefits during tough times. However, devout followers might still feel helpless when they're grappling with a major problem or are trying to make a decision that must be made over a particular calamity. Here's a word from God to you today. Do not worry, I'm here to help you through this. The Lord has the answer. His word is our greatest provision. Most of the time, we have no trouble with things, but we just need a little reassurance that God has things in his plan for us. Probably way better than what we're thinking of. There are so many verses in the Bible regarding future plans that he does not want us worrying about, even if we can't see them for ourselves. God has a way of reassuring us when we feel anxious. Psalm 46 verse 10 promises, Be still and know that I am God. I will make all things work for your good. 
When times are tough, trusting in God can provide the reassurance we need that everything is going to be okay. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. This is God speaking to you and telling you not to worry about anything. Hallelujah! So why do we worry when God says do not worry? There are a few reasons that we might worry when God tells us not to worry. We might worry because we feel like we can't control our own fate. We might worry because we feel like the situation is too big for us to handle. We might worry because the worry itself is a waste of time and energy, and doing so only serves to make our anxiety worse. Worrying is not for a child of God, but it is much greater to learn the direct instruction of our Heavenly Father. To let Him handle everything makes anxiety-ridden days far less stressful. God has promised us in Matthew 6 verse 19 that while we are in His tent, He will not allow any evil to cause us to stumble, nor overwhelm us beyond what we can cope with, as written also in Romans 8 verse 35. It is only when Satan tricks us and blinds us into thinking that nothing will work out, or that things won't get better with God, that he will try and pull us down into the pit and lose us. We do not have to worry ourselves with should we worry or not. This is because God knows what is best for every situation, and he takes care of things even when we're not aware of it. The person who is constantly busy worshipping and praising God gets far less stressed. This often leads to a greater sense of peace, calmness, and patience which comes primarily from knowing that whatever happens, God is in control anyway. You can't get mad at God when he does not allow something to happen or does not use us for something because we are his creation, his workmanship. So if you have any thoughts coming into your mind to do anything other than just let everything be okay and wait for God, then I recommend that you take a time out and devote time to listen to Psalm 91 verse 3 and stop worrying about everything, especially things beyond your control. Stop working with worries do something else or better. I've been working on these steps with my friends for over six months now, and it has helped me to understand the Lord deeper than ever before in my life. Amazing what he can do even through hardship. What a mighty God we serve who is greater than all things, all creatures, and apparently even this earth itself. We don't have to worry about anything. Nothing. God has our back. He will take care of us and teach us every step of life's journey thus far. Hallelujah. So don't worry about everything you're going through, but focus on what lies ahead and take pleasure in the present. No matter what life throws your way, worry won't solve anything. The Bible says to focus on the future and enjoy the present moment, even if it's tough. Sometimes when things feel overwhelming, just remember that God is with you and he will help you through whatever situation comes your way. Just keep trusting him and his word, and soon you'll find that everything starts to get easier. Do not worry. Instead, simply embrace each day as it comes and let God be at work in your life. Trust Him in your situation so you don't risk missing out on an occasion to shine for Him. No matter how dismal things get, no matter how many worries invade your life or how difficult a problem you are facing, there is always one thing that is held in the unbreakable bond of love between God above and you below. The Living Word of God God hears your every prayer, giving you strength to hold on to every precious moment. Your Father in heaven promises never to take anything away from you. He desires for your greatest good always. God says don't worry. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. This simply means you should rest in his security, know that you are always loved, and so that our heart can be at ease and you can sleep soundly. Hallelujah. Pray to God for help when you are worried. When you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed, reaching out to God can be a great way to calm your mind and feel reassured. When you're feeling worried, it can be hard to summon up the courage to ask for help. But there is always someone who is stronger than you, and that's God. When you pray to Him for help, you can know that He is always there for you. Just remember to believe in Him and trust that He will help you through your worries. Hallelujah.